be in a silent hospital and mm. turn to your partner and tell your partner what you think might be inside of it. I think it's an electric Okay, then five, four, three, two, one. I have just heard some amazing words there. Who can tell me then what they think might be inside this bee bot, Harry? Wires. Does anyone know what a wire might do? What's a wire do? It's for electric things. It is for electric things. Electric wire, what's colourful? Fabian, yes. They could be colourful, couldn't they? Dads. A switch, yeah, there is. There's a switch on his tummy, isn't there? Good girl. What else might be inside, Grace? Batteries. Batteries. What do batteries do? Makes stuff work. Makes stuff work, yeah. Any other ideas what a battery might do? No? Brilliant. Any other ideas then what's inside this bee bar? Um, cables. Yes. They make, might have made it with plastic and electric inside. Yes, so there might be some electricity running through it. Right, so who can remember how we turn on a bee bar? switches on the bottom aren't there? Can everyone see the two switches? So when we switch this switch on, what it does, it makes the batteries work. Or if it's an electric wire. It will, and it... Yeah, it goes to electric wire. Well, you can see where we plug it into charge, and that's a wire. So let's switch it on, and you should flash. Because they're so wire. Flippy beep. There we go. So, bee box on. So, on the top of the bee box, we've got buttons. buttons. Um, which, um, which way you want it to go? Fantastic. Backwards, forward, Good boy. sideways. Good boy. And you press that to go and finish. Pause. Oh, my goodness, Harry. You've m remembered so much about bee box. Good boy. So, we've got forwards, Harry. Backwards, Backwards arrow. arrow. Left and We've right got arrow. your left, right. What was that one? What cancel. Cancel, good girl. What does that cancel button do? Can you anyone remember what it does, Grace? Gets it. it does, doesn't it? It gets it out of its memory, it clears its memory. Charlie? If you don't press it, it will be the same. Good girl. Wow, you've remembered so much. So if you don't press this cancel button, it will carry on doing what you've already programmed it to do. Good girl. And what does this button do? Pause. Pause. What does pause mean? Stop it. It stops it, but then you can make it go again. Lovely. Right, so what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to have, go and have a little practice with B-Bots, just to remind ourselves what they do. Right, so B-Bots are on the table. They are in the charger. Do you want that one, Ella? And we're going to go and work on the wood. So let's go and get the bee bots out. We're going to run them on the wood so that they run a little bit better. Now we're going to get out the bee bot mat. 
and we're going to see if we can move it to one of the shops. So I'm going to lay it on the floor and then I want you to sit round it, please, boy. Oh, that's right, I'm just going to get some shoes. So this is a forwards. Um, making a noise. This is the forwards control. So I'm going to put a forward here. Where else might I need to put a forward? So 
we need to put a go card first, um, after that. Right, press go then, babes. Have we made it to yeah. the bus stop? Yeah. yeah! Brilliant! So can you see that when you have made an algorithm, you have made the instructions, you then press the buttons which has made a code inside the V-Bot robot? Yeah. Well, Shall we go to the petrol station? Yeah. yeah. So now I've just had a thought. What yeah. if Grace's V-Bot has already got a code inside him? What might we need to do? Shall we give him a pencil and a clear card so that we know to do that first, so that Shall we've cleared it? Well, when we've, when we've um, made the algorithm, so we're going to yeah. press clear. What might he need to do next? Where might the B-Bot need to go? to think how are we going to change that so we're going to do a thing called debugging we're going to debug the algorithm so what was wrong what went wrong at the end Jessica it went too went went forward so we went forwards too many times shall we take one of the forwards off yeah, yeah. shall we try putting code in the algorithm let's again? try both four you want to try four babes yeah. four well, I let's try this it. then. Shall we go to the bank? Well, no, because we're going to the petrol station. Right, are you ready then? So, have you cleared it? Yeah. Forwards. <laughs> Left. Forwards. 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 Right. Go. Let's try that. It's <laughs> 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 getting a bit wonky, isn't it? Yeah, that's I think it's because the mat's gone a little bit. It's uh, curled up the mat, hasn't it? Yay! Have we made it? Yeah. 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 What What else could we do so that we drive into the petrol station? What could the next part of the algorithm be? Do it forwards again. Good girl, Bray. So let's bring him back. Let's charge it in again. Charge. Let's have a look. Do it, Fabian. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, 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 I know. Y
Sorted out our cards. What did it do? What did that do? What did the cards help us do, Fabian? Um, help us where we wanted to go. Yes, they made us more accurate, didn't they? They made sure that we were coding the bee box so that it went exactly where we put it. Right, we love bee bots um, across the school in reception. Our children use them in continuous revision, and they just play with them and explore with them. So when they come through to year one, which is the class that's just been in, they already know how they work and then it's just dripping in the language such as algorithm and code, which then brings them onto the next level. We also use the maths with year one, um, just so that they can see where their bee box is going rather than it just going around on the floor. Um, and then you can also, we've also got from TTS, we've got um, a plain map that we can draw our own map on which the year twos love because they put things in like um, like dungeons and traps that the bee bots would then fall down onto. Um, we love the new bee bots because they come in a docking station whereas before it was batteries and they didn't last that long so we was getting through lots of batteries so now we just pop them in a docking station, charge them up for a few hours in the evening and they're ready for the next day. Um, the next step with um, this set of children is they're going to carry on using the bee bots, we're going to create our own maps and then we're then going to go on to using the inno bots but that will probably be around the springtime where they've had lots of exposure to algorithms um, and coding because the inno bots you need to use the scratch technology which is a little bit of the next higher level. The beauty of a bee bot is that it's not all about ICT and um, just the coding and algorithms, they're working together, they're problem solving. One of our little girls is very mathematical and she was actually just then creating the algorithm in her head. So it's showing to me that she's got a logical thought process and it's building that with the other children. Um, and it's just the teamwork, they're working together and it's for all abilities. It can be for a higher child, it can be for a lower attaining child, they can all access a B-Bot at some level which for a class is brilliant.